What's going on crypto fam? This is the crypto Nate coming at you here uh, with another video and in this video I wanted to share a really cool tool that I found here on Twitter. I don't recall who I saw it from uh, I've already closed it out. So I apologize uh, for not giving credit where credit is due But when I saw this I had to make a video right quick and put it out there so more people can find this site and this site is coin 360.io and if you're someone that's a uh, visual person, this might be right up your alley to kind of give you a different perspective on where your coin or your token falls in the cryptoverse. So um, they have it really nicely broken down here into just kind of uh, general coins over here and tokens. And then you have um, the tokens that can be mined based on the different type of uh, encryption. So, you know, SHA-256 coins or ETHash, S-Crypt. You know they're all shown here so you can kind of see where those coins fall at in that you know niche of the the marketplace and then also the coins that were released within a certain time frame so like you know second quarter of 2017 or fourth quarter of 2016 and whatnot so you kind of get a really good representation of you know where these coins are at in relation to each other and also in relation to the different niches that are within or parameters within the cryptoverse. So um, one of the things I like is this menu bar over here. It shows you the current market cap and volume, and you can filter to show only coins or only tokens. So if you wanna see where your coin or token falls, uh, you can put the filters on and immediately get a representation of uh, maybe something that you're looking at, like you thought it was maybe a really popular coin or it had a lot of um, market cap well when you look here you obviously can tell you know in relation to other coins and tokens how it compares so I thought that was a really nice um, tool here to share with you and also you can change the period so if you don't want to look at like a day's performance you can go customize it and put what you want or use the other four you know an hour a day seven days or a month and then get a bigger picture of maybe the the actual movements within those coins so um, you can change it by market cap and look at it that way, or you can look at it from volume and see how it's doing as well from that perspective. Then you have that nice little slider here. So if you only want to look at, let's say, coins that have a market cap that's above you know, 100 million and you know, up to the max of the market cap at 134 billion, you can easily see which coins you want to look at so if you have like parameters that you you trade with and there's only certain coins that have to meet certain cr you know, credentials or you know criteria to, to to be traded i think this is a really easy way to uh, quickly eliminate coins that would be a waste of your time to look at because they don't fall within your your criteria so and if there's ones that you just absolutely hate that you don't want to look at clearly you can just hide them from the map by typing in the token name here and um, that's pretty much it so I, was, I saw this and I was like you know I gotta I gotta make a video for this so that uh, other people can find this tool and maybe it'll be useful to you and if it did you know if it is useful to you please put the thumbs up and uh, that way more people can see this video and I understand right now it's a bear market and uh it's, it's tough to make trades, anything profitable. So uh, you gotta trade smart, you gotta trade safe, you gotta do your due diligence and look for uh, setups that will uh, possibly bring you some profits here during this, this bear market. But uh, definitely not what it was back in December. You know, you're looking at maybe five, 10% at the most for a trade instead of the 50, 100, 200% you know, gains that we had on that last bull run. So anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Once again, make sure you uh, trade safe, trade smart, do your own research, and I'll see you in the next video.